So when we were approached by Nintendo, we, we thought actually this would be really, really interesting and a, and a lot of good fun. And we can write some scripts which sort of use the 3D dimension as part of the scripting process, have a bit of fun with space. Our starting point has been we don't want the 3D to get in the way of telling a funny story because that is essentially what people want out of uh, Sean the Sheep. They want a, a little funny story that is engaging and humorous and looks great. One minute is a very uh, interesting time because it's, it's slightly longer than a joke, slightly longer than a sketch, but it's not a full big story. So um, it was quite hard to get the ideas to work within a minute. We've uh, approached the treaty slightly differently in insofar as framing shots. And uh, we've been trying to frame this a little bit more, almost like looking into a little box where the characters are almost already there like a little old diorama or something that you would make yourself and look into. It's, it's a uh, broadcast production, but it's got uh, feature film standards. I schedule out the shooting week and as far in advance as I can do uh, with, with the shot cards. And I produce a weekly picture schedule on Monday, which is a reference of the target for every unit for that week and tells all the crew on the floor the shooting order and what's happening. We've always been interested in 3D, particularly because our characters are fundamentally three-dimensional models. People kind of get that even on a 2D screen, but to see them in real 3D, where you can see how rotund they are, you can see the textures and the fur, just gives them a, literally an extra dimension, an extra interest. It's been really interesting because the, kind of the puppets have kind of remained the same, but kind of the level of detail being, you know, from working with HD is kind of a very similar kind of standard. So we're we're always conscious of, of, you know, kind of the dirt levels, keeping everything really clean. When you're dressing, you, you, you look to um, placings where the farmer would, so you have to get in the, in the farmer's frame and you put things down and where he would put them. You need to make them look like they've been there a long time, you know, because it's a farmyard and once it's put down, it, it, it's forgotten really. Yeah. I'm quite pleased with this area. Sean looks particularly good when it's in almost a puppet theatre style look. So they align right to the front, and then the characters are all staggered behind to give that puppet theatre look, which has worked quite well. And this is, this is a really good example of kind of the bits and pieces that, that go to make up a puppet. And so the silicon's very good because it, it bends in a very nice way, very natural way, but doesn't deform when you actually move it, so you don't have to re-sculpt it all the time, which speeds up our animation. Whereas the, the clay on the head and sometimes on the hands just gives you a greater level of expression for your puppet. It shows Sean and, uh, in a whole new light, so I was really excited to work on the project from the beginning. This time we've made things uh, a little, little richer, uh, a bit more visual. It's one of the most uh, exciting ones is where we actually parody Nintendo games. Sean actually moves like one of the characters from an early Nintendo game and it's, it's quite fun to take the mickey. One of the things I've really enjoyed on this project is working with the guys from Nintendo. I feel that there's a lot in common with uh, the creative ethos of Nintendo and what we attempt to achieve here at Aardman. Attention to uh, detail and humour. Yeah.